Oh, this is Pony Prepper Bill. I'm having a bad freaking day. Uh, made a video three freaking times. <laughs> uh, somebody behind me. Made a video. Good thing I checked it. There was no audio. With my wireless microphone, the battery seemed to be good. So I messed with the wires and everything else, and then I got meter going. Seatbelt. The meter started going, so I thought I had audio. I did it again. Missed it. I brought my phone to look something up to read to you, and I got no reception out of here whatsoever. So I went to use this phone, and the mount I have, I guess with the heat, it's falling apart. So it rattles all over. But what I wanted to look up, I wanted to tell you, I saw a cruise ship has 90 some percent of the crew took the cure. 90 some percent of the passengers had the cure. And they have 20 some people sick with the disease. And it wasn't the people that didn't take the cure they're okay. It was the people that took the cure. They're the ones that are sick. But they don't think there's a big problem. I mean, they're doing more lockdowns in Jersey now. You, you got to uh, wear a mask everywhere again. Uh, two and three masks, you know. Uh... But they don't think it's a problem. They're going to dock and allow people off the ship to do their shopping and whatever they got to do. But if you're in the United States, I, you know, it's a problem. But if you're in Dubai or wherever it was, it's okay. You can get other people sick. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers. If I can find it, I'll put pictures or something in the bottom. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to get the video taken down. And I'm waiting for my phone to fall off. I'm out here in the woods driving around, thought it'd be nice, but uh, I got no reception out of here. So, let's get back to the rest of the video. This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Saturday, August 14th, I think. And a couple things I wanted to talk about. I guess we all survived the emergency broadcast phone system in the, uh, you know. Uh, when I watch TV, I guess you're probably the same way. When a commercial comes on or YouTube, a commercial comes on, I don't pay attention to it at all, really. It's all, well, I can't even say what it's about because it'll probably take my channel down if I don't agree with it. But I don't, I don't pay attention. My wife will say something like, did you hear what that commercial was about? I'm like, I didn't even pay attention. Um, we were listening on YouTube. I mean, it was nothing on the other night, and we put on Art Bell. We listened to Art Bell a lot. You know, I mean, you know, he passed, but they still have him on YouTube. And they had an episode from 2015, I think it was. And I'm going to put a link to it in there, if, if you know, if you want to watch it. But we were listening to him, and then a commercial came on. Well, before I even get into that, around where I live... We have, the only air traffic we have are military planes, constantly. Usually it's military planes, the Black Hawk helicopters, constantly. The last two months, you'll see a Black Hawk helicopter every now and then. The planes would fly all day, all night long. They stopped for the last couple weeks. Like two nights ago, ten of those big jumbo military planes flew over my house, real low, two o'clock in the morning. But that's about it. But two weeks, the last two weeks, I guess, I've seen, I don't know if it's the same one, but I saw a small, small plane flying around. And I don't know if it's in the other video I was going to do or if it's on there, but you can hear a plane in the background. Like right now, I hear a plane in the background. It's very rare you see like a, a private plane, other than the crop duster that sprays the fields around here. As far as a little airplane, you really don't see them. But like two weeks ago, like all day, you could hear a plane. And then, you know, 20 minutes later, a plane and another plane. It's the same plane just flying around and around. 
but it was like every day and then it was like two days later all day long you'd hear the plane I'm like what the hell are they doing you know they're not just joy riding checking out the Pine Barrens because they just kept flying around they're not flying all over so we're watching this art bell and a commercial comes on and this is from you know 2015 I think it was so it's a couple years old but the commercial was talking about the FBI using small commercial or small planes for surveillance. And I'm listening to it, and my wife said, "Did you hear that?" I'm like, "Well, that's an old commercial." And just for the hell of it, I mean, it clicked in my head from what I saw. So I I looked it up. I'm going to put a couple clips in here. For Dark Matter News, I'm Leo Ashcraft. The Associated Press says scores of low-flying planes circling American cities are part of a civilian air force operated by the FBI and obscured behind fictitious companies. The AP said it traced at least 50 aircraft back to the FBI and identified more than 100 flights in 11 states over a 30-day period since late April. They were orbiting both major cities and rural areas. At least 115 planes, including 90 Cessna aircraft, were mentioned in a federal budget document from 2009. For decades, the planes have provided support to FBI surveillance operations on the ground, but now the aircraft are equipped with high-tech cameras and, in rare circumstances, technology capable of tracking thousands of cell phones, raising questions about how these surveillance flights affect Americans' privacy. The FBI says the planes are not equipped or used for bulk collection activities or mass surveillance, they say the surveillance equipment is used for ongoing investigations, but generally without a judge's approval. Story and secrets in the sky and our fight for privacy. As word comes, the FBI has been secretly flying over our homes right here in the valley with equipment designed to track phone calls and record video. ABC's Nick Vincent is live in Deer Valley at the airport there in Phoenix. And Nick, uh, what were those planes specifically looking for? Well, you know, we asked FBI officials that, and they would not say exactly what they were looking for every time that they were flying over a valley city and how many times they flew. They also won't say, but we know that they operated this program out of this airport for years, each time using a plane that was capable of ca capturing data from thousands of people at a time. Two days ago, this plane was spotted leaving Deer Valley Airport. According to the Associated Press, it's owned by the FBI and used for surveillance, just like this plane and this plane, both of which were also photographed at Deer Valley. Equipped with special cameras and antennae, the planes can record video and in some cases capture cell phone information. It's unclear how many surveillance flights happened in the valley or what officials were looking at. But it says for decades, the planes have provided support to FBI surveillance operations on the ground. But now the aircraft are equipped with high-tech cameras and in rare circumstances, technology capable of tracking thousands of cell phones, raising questions about how these surveillance flights affect Americans' privacy. It's important that federal law enforcement personnel have the tools they need to find and catch criminals. I'm not going to read all of it, just certain things. Um, the FBI says the planes are not equipped or used for bulk collection activities or mass surveillance. Their surveillance equipment is good for ongoing investigations, the FBI says, generally without the judge's approval. The FBI confirmed for the first time the wide-scale use of aircraft, which the AP traced to at least 13 fake companies, such as FVX Research, KQM Aviation, NBR Aviation, PXW Services. And they're talking, uh, since 2007, the U.S. Marshal Service has operated an aerial surveillance program with its own fleet equipped with technology that can capture data from thousands of cell phones. Some of the aircraft can also be equipped with technology that can identify thousands of people below through the cell phones they carry, even if they're not making a call or in public. The official said that practice which mimics cell towers and gets phones to reveal basic subscriber information is used in only limited situations. How do we know what they're really doing? 
Evolving technology can record higher quality video from long distances even at night and capture certain identifying information from cell phones using a device known as a cell site simulator or Stingray to use one of the product's brand names. These can trick pinpointed cell phones into revealing identification numbers of subscribers including those not suspected of a crime. During the past few weeks, now this is in 2015, the AP tracked planes from the FBI's fleet on more than 100 flights over the last 11, over at least 11 states plus the District of Columbia, most with Cessna 182T Skyline aircraft. These included parts of Boston, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Minneapolis, Phoenix, Seattle, and Southern California. Now, that was a couple years ago. That was before this pandemic and the lockdowns and it also goes with about this time last year I forget when it was I'll have to look the video I put up last year of that military blimp I saw flying the stuff on the bottom now the planes that we saw flying around I mean it's hard to see they're they're low flying they're flying around and around and around but I mean was it one of these planes with all this stuff going on and the vax, non-vax, and turn in your neighbor, who's doing what, who's doing this, who's not conforming, who's not complying. This is a good way to find out uh, what you're texting, what you're not texting, who you're talking to, uh, meetings you're planning. I know a couple of people are planning on having stuff in a couple of different states, meetings and gatherings and... Who knows what this shit's going on? And that was a couple of years ago. Imagine the technology they have now and what they're really doing. We saw a couple of military planes the other day flying. I mean, they usually fly across the road, across the highway, from like our house towards the military base. A couple of them we saw were flying along the road. So, I mean, they could be collecting all kind of data from all these cars. Who's doing what? Who's saying what? So I just wanted to put this out there to you, whether you've heard this story a couple years ago or if you didn't know about it, I never heard of it. It was just, it seems weird to me that the military planes pretty much stopped except for today. We saw two or three giant cargo planes. They almost hit the treetops, but I mean, that's nothing new, I guess, but. We didn't see them for a while, and then we got these little, they look like civilian aircraft flying around in circles all day long. And I didn't think anything of it. And then we're watching Art Bell, and that commercial was from a couple of years ago, and it rang with what's going on now. Another thing I wanted to say, I'll put the little clip in here. When we were watching Art Bell, that commercial, shit, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear me. The commercial that came on about the airplanes, the FBI airplanes, the commercial, uh, the ad or commercial right after that was, they were talking about a mini ice age coming. Now, we've been told global warming and it's going to get hotter. And I listened to the radio the other day, and I never listened to radio. But I came to the store, coming back to the store, I turned the radio on. I forget what the hell they were saying. Everything was about the jab, and I couldn't take it. I went to change the channel. And the news they were talking about, it's getting so hot now, within one decade, in 10 years, the highest temperature we're having now in the, in the 90s and 100s, like this week was... 98, 99 with, like yesterday and the day before, was heat index of 108. They said today it was going to be hotter. It was like 105. Anyway, it was hot. But they're saying that's going to be the normal temperature in 10 years. Well, just a couple years ago, they were talking about the scientist or whatever the hell it was, saying we're going to have a mini ice age. 
could be headed for a mini ice age, according to researchers. A new study claims to have cracked predicting solar cycles and says that between 2020 and 2030, solar cycles will cancel each other out. This, they say, will lead to a phenomenon known as the Maunder Minimum, which has previously been known as a mini ice age when it hit between 1646 and 1715, even causing London's River Thames to freeze over. The new model of the sun's solar cycle is producing unprecedentedly accurate predictions of irregularities within the sun's 11-year heartbeat. It draws on dynamo effects in two layers of the sun, one close to the surface and one deep within its convection zone. Predictions from the model suggest that solar activity will fall by 60% during the 2030s, two conditions last seen during the mini ice age that began in 1645. For quite a few years, it's going to be freezing. So, I'll put that little clip in here, too. Make up your mind. Is it going to get hot or is it going to get cold? And it's all around the same time. you got the grand solar minimum, the polar ice caps, uh, the poles are going to shift. What the hell is going on? Make up your mind. So, keep your eyes open. Look at these uh, airplanes and let me know if you've seen any aircraft with little things hanging on the bottom that could be surveillance equipment. Uh, that's what I got for now, and this is Bonnie Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.